It's adorable. It's a boy. It's a boy. <laughs> All right. So, uh, welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. Just having some fun here. Um, one of my subscribers sent this motor to me. Okay. I have no idea who it was. He actually didn't send a return or she didn't send a return address. Whoever it was, I, I just want to say thank you. Uh, this is a TP Power 2030. It's 20 millimeters in diameter. 48 millimeters long okay so this is a traditional 2030 and this is the tp power version okay so 2030 long 48 long this motor this motor here it's actually kind of a high kv uh but but well, we should be able to put like a small prop on it and um you know get it to work it's a uh, actually a, like a 3s capable motor 5310 kv okay um it's it's freaking adorable. So I got a TP Power 4060 here. I got the Mama TP Power 4060. <laughs> All right. Uh, these are both 1900 kVs. Two different motors. All you know, two different motors. One's got an open end bell. One's got a closed end bell. Uh, different winds. Different motors. But um, yeah. So what I, what I wanted to do, I wanted to show you guys how it's constructed because i thought it was pretty pretty nifty the way they constructed the motor okay we're going to do that here in a few but uh i wanted to ask you guys opinion on the motor i have okay. two boats in mind that would uh that would that would work well with this motor okay i've got this uh tfl small bolt hydroplane all right and i've got the miss geico 17 all right um I'm actually, uh, this is like my next project. Once I'm finished up with the Velez, we're actually going to start blueprinting this boat and I'm trying to get some high speeds out of this boat. But I, I wanted to know your guys' opinion. All right, now the small bolt actually comes with a, a 2040 brushless motor, okay? It actually has a 2040 in it. All right, uh, 2600 kV. This is 5300 kV. Now my temps with a 2600 kV motor were actually quite cool, considering uh, how you know it's kind of a heavyweight boat. So you know, if I put the motor in this one or this one, I I'm thinking you know with the high kV we could run it on 3s. All right, uh, temps would be hot on 3s. So I'm thinking we could put like a 27 millimeter prop on here, even a 24, depending on or 30, depending on tips. Um, you know, I think that the TP Power motor should be should be pretty good for either one of these boats. Now I'm I'm gonna blueprint this boat right here. I've actually already got all my electronics stripped out of it. I'm gonna pull this guy right here out, make room for battery. I may even pull the stuffing tube out and reposition it. I, I'm not sure. It's build coming up, just brown brainstorming. But it's a lightweight motor and it might be pretty good in this thing. I, I don't know if this motor's gonna get me my targeted 45 miles an hour uh, I was kind of leaning th toward the 380 in this Miss Geico all right tracks this 380 it should get me 50 plus okay once I get the bottom blueprinted and, and uh, get the boat ready for performance but I, I was want, I was kind of wanting you get uh, you know just kind of asking you guys uh, you guys watch my videos you know so I figured I'd give you guys the chance to uh, recommend a boat now I also you know I also could put this motor in this little kneeler right here because I've actually got a really high kV motor in it right now and uh, it, it, it's actually like a 7800 kV motor same or 7200 same thing as this one basically yeah 7200 um, I was thinking about putting it in this kneeler man making this little thing freaking scream okay so we got three options all right three options the kneeler the mg17 or the small bolt jeez i forgot about the rigger okay this is my little micro rigger it's got a 2030 5200 kv hmm oh it's too big for the rigger jeez uh let me know what you guys think all right because i'm i'm up for putting it in any of the three boats okay i've got this 50 amp generic esc here that i'm actually going to take this cooling plate off put this cooling plate on all right uh so we're going to run it with this 50 amp esc on 3s all right or or a 30 amp esc if i run it in this one i'll put a 30 on it so yeah whichever boat has the most votes in the comment section you know uh up until i'm ready to install the motor 
that's the boat I'll go with. All right. Uh, so I, you know, I thought this was actually kind of cool because, um, you know, it don't have grub screws holding the end bells on. Okay. Uh, I was like, well, damn, you can't take it apart. And I just happened to spin this end bell and the end bell unscrews. I thought that was pretty cool. Pretty nifty. All right. So you unscrew the end bell. Okay. There's no shims in here. All right. We'll take the end bell off. If I can get it off. All right. Take the end bell off. And got this little dust protector right here. And you pull the rotor out. Look at that little rotor. It's Kevlar wrap. This is a 75,000 RPM motor. 75,000. Okay. Uh, the rotor's small. You know, it's Kevlar wrap, man. It'll take it. It'll take it, I believe. You know, we throw th 3S on it. It's going to take it, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool, man. And the motor looks almost new. All right check it out check it out now look at the look i mean someone sent this to me for for you know i don't even know who sent it but uh I, you know i thought that was cool i've already oiled up the, the bearings they probably had it in like a little mini z I, I would think like a little mini z or something these are perfect motors for those little cars but uh oh but i thought it was just cool man i thought it was cool how it unscrewed like this that's so cool i don't have any motors i don't have any motors that unscrew you know the end cap end bell unscrews off of it i thought that was really neat i wanted to show you guys that and um actually here shortly we're actually going to be taking apart this 1900 kv okay this is my big bad boy right here we're going to be taking this guy here apart putting new bearings in it all right these these are ceramic ball bearings from TRBRC. Oh yeah, let me turn it on for you. Here, I got 50 amp ESC right here on this little 2030. All right. <laughs> 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 All right, so I'm gonna put a little piece of tape on it for you so you can hear it. All right, watch your ears because it's gonna be loud. 5300 RPM on 3S, 1300. <laughs> huh. That hard to make it scream, huh? Huh. Gotta be more careful. <laughs> All right, so let's put it on 2S here. That's some high RPM, boys. That's some high RPM. So here's 2S, uh, 70C, 450 milliamp. So it would actually be pretty good in my little, my little kneeler, okay? Huh, all right. So here, here's, a, here's a regular 2030, 7200 kV. with the 2S pack. All right. But this one right here, being a TP power, I would think it's gonna be more efficient. You know, it's a high KV, but it should be efficient, an efficient high KV. 2S, 3S. All right, and I got an 853S we could put on it too, which probably would be the safest route with a small prop. You know, 850. Just as hard, huh? <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this, run it past you. Let me know in the comments. I didn't really have a video planned for today, so uh, here you go. See you guys next time. Big B, without Clutter RC.